Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to redo my challenge where I tried to find the central black hole in the middle of our galaxy but this time using it the smart way because many of you have basically told me that I had something very important disabled under settings here which of course is the clusters. Now for some reason in my version of the game uh, this was disabled by default so I didn't really get to see the clusters which make it so much easier to find the central black hole known as Sagittarius A. If you still haven't subscribed click that subscribe button right now because today we're going to talk about something that will teach you about globular clusters and many more videos will come that will teach you even more. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And so here we are next to our moon and we're going to go on an adventure and try to once again discover the central black hole in the middle of our galaxy. But what I'm going to use this time to find it is essentially known as um, a globular cluster. What are these clusters? Well, you're going to see quite a lot of them as soon as I turn around here and start moving across our galaxy closer to the center. You're actually going to see quite a few and many of them are so bright that we used to think that they were just stars, but turns out that they're actually global, globular clusters very, very far away. Uh, some of the more famous ones are, I believe there's this really famous one that you can actually see with your naked eye, known as Omega Centauri. Uh, oh, here's actually one of the clusters right there. And uh, that's a nebula. There might be some more coming up really soon. But basically, these are essentially stars. There's another one right there. These are essentially stars, thousands and millions of stars all together. Let's go take a look at one. Um, that are orbiting in a, a similar fashion. They're, they're basically orbiting all together. Uh, there was a speculation that there, there's, there might be a, a, uh, an intermediate black, a massive black hole inside, but turns out that we might have been wrong about this. So maybe, just maybe, there are some black holes, but they're not actually orbiting around a black hole at all. As a matter of fact, these uh, uh, stars here in this globular cluster might be just kind of uh, sticking to each other, sticking together using their own gravity. Uh, so that's basically how, or what is the best way to find the central uh, black hole Sagittarius A in the middle of our galaxy, because it just so happens that, at least in Space Engine, one of these globular clusters contains the Sagittarius A. We're going to accelerate time here a little bit just so we can actually see uh, the orbits of the uh, stars that are going to be orbiting around the uh, supermassive black hole. Okay, now where exactly are we going? Oh, okay, here we go. I think we're going to the center of the galaxy first, and we're going to look for one of these globular clusters um, now, most of these are usually about 10 to 30 light years in size. They're not actually very, very big. Uh, but as you can see, there's so many of them in the, in the center here. Now, let's, let's see if this is the one, maybe. And uh, the interesting part about uh, these things is that um, they always, almost always contain ridiculously ancient stars. All of these stars are super old. These are actually possibly the oldest stars in the universe. Um, or at least some of the oldest stars in the universe, and uh, most of them were actually um, born only hundreds of millions of years after the creation of the universe. So a lot of these stars are basically um, close to 13 billion years old. Now, am I in the center? I think I am. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Or maybe it's that one. Let's, ch let's check it out. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. It's a lot easier if you're actually just looking for... Um, a moving object inside a globular cluster because that's essentially how I should be looking for the uh, supermassive black hole in the center of our universe but you know what uh, the way I found it before was a lot more fun it was a lot less practical but it was more entertaining because I basically flew around the galaxy looking for a needle in a haystack all right so maybe it's here somewhere maybe just maybe Nope, not here. Nothing is moving. No motion detected. Unless I accelerate time. Which would actually show it to me a lot easier. Anyway, so let's actually talk a little bit more about these globular clusters. Um, the I think the really interesting thing about them is that they often contain really, really bright um, blue stars or white blue stars 
known as Blue Stragglers. And these, um, we believe, are formed when um, two of these stars within a global cluster actually um, basically combine. They, they collide into one another and they create a more massive star. So if you, if you see a star that's more bright here, like for example, if I actually decrease the brightness, the brighter stars might, might have actually been um, created by a collision of two stars because a lot of these stars are very, very close together. So imagine you were actually, uh, let's go back to this. Imagine you were actually like living on one of the, one of the planets and one of these stars here. Your sky, your sky would look incredible. So we're going to zoom in here. Let's actually zoom in. So imagine this is a planet you're on. If you look into the sky, it, you would see a lot of beautiful brightness a lot of really really cool things it's very very gorgeous things um but uh yeah so these globular clusters there's quite a lot of them there's actually over a hundred of them in our solar um in our galaxy milky way and some galaxies uh especially supermassive galaxies contain several thousands of them and each of them contains millions of stars so it's quite a lot of really interesting stuff going on in there all right, I'm not actually having luck here finding the, um, the supermassive black hole, but it's probably because I'm not even trying. I'm not actually even looking for it, to be honest. I'm just flying around trying to show you um, or trying to teach you about these beautiful creations known as globular clusters. But I actually have a strong feeling that I just didn't see it. It's, it's got to be somewhere in this one. It has to be somewhere in here. Isn't it somewhere in here? Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Huh. Well, because that looks like we're right in the center, right? Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. Let's move around. Let's uh, find another one. Another one of these global clusters. Um, now, the majority of stars um, in these globular clusters, as I mentioned before, are very old. So, uh, there's quite a lot of white dwarfs in here. Basically, this is what our sun will become one day. And there's also quite a lot of other um, ancient stars, such as yellow and red stars, that are just uh, more massive than our sun, but are definitely very, very ancient. And they look very different from what we have in our own neighborhood uh, close to um, our sun. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, though, because these stars are so ancient, um, this would be a very interesting place to investigate and to learn about our universe, because many of these globular clusters contain a huge amount of really, really ancient matter. Really, really old stuff. Stuff that's so old that's probably as old as our own galaxy. Um, and many of these clusters were actually captured from other galaxies that a long time, a long time ago passed very close to our Milky Way and basically had um, some of their stuff either stolen or were completely destroyed by the Milky Way. And so many of these globular clusters actually came from from the outside of our Milky Way. All right, so I still don't see anything, but I'm sure it's got to be somewhere nearby. I have this feeling that it's somewhere here. All right, let's go to the next one and see what we can find there. Although maybe just maybe maybe just maybe this kind of looks familiar. But yeah, there it is. There's the motion. I don't even know how I didn't see this before. There there you are, my beautiful. Sagittarius A, welcome everyone, this is Sagittarius A. So as you can see, it's right in the middle of the global war cluster. Um, and we know that this is the central black hole because of the amount of stuff that's moving around it. I can actually now successfully zoom into it and uh, let's approach it really, really, really slowly. Anyway, so that's what these global war clusters are all about. Um, definitely still a lot of mystery about them, we don't really know um how they were formed or when exactly they were formed but it's very likely that many of these stars that are in these globular clusters including the black holes that might be in there and there is actually the black hole if you haven't seen it yet this is uh this is it there you go anyway so essentially yeah so these globular clusters are um, everywhere and they're quite important they contain a lot of mass and obviously um, a lot of mysteries as well uh, and as i mentioned before um, the so-called blue stragglers the super super bright stars that you kind of see right here are essentially or we think are essentially formed by a combination of two different stars and this is something we're going to explore in one of the future videos but in the meanwhile since we found sagittarius a let's just go in and Make this universe end. Now, where is it? There you are. This is the end of the universe. Say goodbye, everyone. We're going to go backwards. Bye-bye.
and I totally missed. One more time. And here we go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me later. It's so dark in here. Bye-bye.